In this packet tracer activity, I'll be interpreting ping and trace route output. The objectives are to distinguish the difference between successful and unsuccessful ping attempts, and to distinguish the difference between successful and unsuccessful trace route attempts. So in this activity, I'm going to test end-to-end -end connectivity using ping and trace route. So first, I'm going to click on in-host, go to desktop, and click out of that, go to uh, router. I'm going to ping the Cisco server, hit enter. It'll just take a minute for it to ping. Or two. Okay, so from the output, you can see that in-host was able to obtain IP address for the Cisco server. The IP address was obtained using DNS. Also note that the first ping failed. This failure is most likely due to the lack of ARP convergence between the source and destination. If you repeat the ping, you'll notice that all pings succeed. So from the command window in-host, I'm going to ping the e-host at 192.168.410. So 192. 168.4.10 and hit enter. And as you can see, the ping fails. So I'm going to X out of that. And now I'm going to click on the end branch router. I'm going to go to the CLI tab. I'm going to press enter at the router prompt. And from here, I'm going to ping Cisco server. So I'll go to ping www.cisco.com. Okay, and as you can see, the ping output on a router is different from a PC host. Notice that the end branch router resolved the domain name to the same IP address that end host used to send its pings. Also notice that the first ping fails, which is indicated by a period, and that the next four pings succeed as shown with an exclamation point. So from the CLI tab on end branch, I'm going to ping the e-host at 192.168.4.10 again. See? And again, ping fails.